Welcome back guys. Today we are back on the smashed up Mustang. In the previous video, you guys know that we did replace this quarter panel. It's looking really good. We got it all trimmed out, you know, basically ready for paint. All we gotta do is sand it down, block it out real nice and uh, paint it. But now we are ready to begin work on the front end. Uh, as you know, the frame rails are just a little bit pushed over, not much, nothing major. So uh, what we need to do, uh, we need to put it up on the clamps and uh, get it strapped down real nice. That way we can put a chain on these frame rails and pull them over. And once we get these things pulled over, we'll start stripping everything down. We'll take off the core support. We'll take off the headlights, uh, the radiators, everything. And we'll expose the frame rails. That way we can see exactly what the damage is on them. Uh, I know they're pretty bad, even though I have not been able to see them very good. Uh, just by looking from where we can see, uh, they're pretty bad. So uh, we're gonna rip all the parts off of it. We're gonna get it all pulled out and get it all stripped down and get it ready to cut these rails off and pop the new ones on, which should be here today. So we're super excited. All right, so the rails have been pulled out and they're, they're actually pretty straight right now. The only problem with them is obviously the crumpled sections like you see right here. Uh, like I said before, that's from the previous damage right there. And it definitely did not help that this car was already wrecked before on the second time around because that definitely bent a lot easier. Had that not been damaged before, uh, it probably would not have pushed the rails over so bad. It would not have kinked. It might have It might have just swiped them over and we would have been able to just pull them back. But since it is a previous repair, and that's one of the things that you get with a previous repair is it's never gonna be, you know, as good as factory. So we're going to try to make it as factory as possible and, you know, get Mike back on the road in a good, safe car. So we need to strip down this whole front end. Uh, that way we can get to the rails. That way uh, we have room. Like alternator needs to be removed. Uh, all of the radiators, all this stuff in the front needs to go. As much as we can take off the motor without having to take off actual components of the motor, that's what we want to get off. Uh, all the wiring harness, we want to get all this out of the way. That way we don't damage anything. And uh, then we'll start cutting these rails off. All right, let's get to it.
So Nate got all the accessories off and we got this uh, part of the frame rail off. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this frame end off and weld me a piece right here that I can use to pull on. And uh, we'll pull, pull it out, get it chopped off, get the new one fitted up, get this thing done. So Nate has the subframe removed and uh, I've made a template from the uh, donor rail and I've laid it on there. As you guys can see that nice little line in there. Uh, we just need to cut right alongside that and pull it off and then get the new subframe because this subframe is bent. We're about to take it down and show you guys how bad it is. Uh, so. That's the next step. Get this off, cut this rail off. And I also decided that I'm going to go ahead and replace this since I already have it. And this looks horrible. And not to mention the fact that this will also help me position the rail back into its original spot. So it's going to be really nice. We're going to undo the, on the donor side, we're gonna undo these right here and right here, and then just attach it all as one piece. So it's gonna be perfect. So it's like day 25. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. It's day what, like five? I don't know, five probably. Uh, and we are at the point where the rail, the the right, the left side rail is on. All it needs is to be welded in. Uh, we have some gussets over there that need to be made, but it's it's basically on here, ready to go. Now we are working on this rail here. And oh what yeah. What we need to do right now is weld this plate onto the uh, frame rail end. And I kind of want to do it like kind of centered. All right, so I've got the piece welded on. As you guys can see, look at these welds right here. Look, look how beautiful that is. Man, that's honestly, that looks too good for what it's for, man. Yeah, I know, look in here. Let's see these welds.
All right, so we got the rail pulled out as much as uh, we could get it. And now we are going to go ahead and cut it off. So uh, we'll drill out some spot welds here and then chop it. And that will, we'll have, so we'll have a butt connection on the inside and then it'll overlap on the outside. And uh, we'll get the, uh, the donor rail prepped and get it all on there. And then hopefully we can get this front end together and uh, start thinking about welding this thing up. So we got the rail cut off and we still need to remove this piece. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it uh, simply because we have it. Uh, so, or maybe I'll just leave it on the rail and slide it up in there. That'll probably be the better idea. So we're going to uh, go ahead and remove this and uh, get the donor rail prepped and then get it all on here and hopefully get this front end together today. All right, so check it out. We have the rails all mounted up. We've got them bolted on here, and we've got the subframe bolted on. We've got the rebar bolted on. We've got the core support bolted on. Everything checks out. Everything measures out. Everything is level. Uh, we are basically ready to weld. Uh, before we weld, I'm going to put the front clip together, like the hood, the fenders, and all that, but we're just burned out. Like, it, it's the end of the day already, and we're, there's no way we're doing any of this today. So it's gonna be in the next video. So if you wanna see this get welded up and get the front end on this thing, stay tuned for the next video, please.